Another question that I had was around relationships and board members. So how do you pick your board members and what types of relationships should you have with them in order for them to be effective in helping you reach your goal? So I think I've said this before, but they should not be family and they should not be your best friends. Again, these are people who care about you. Let's hope, you know, they care about you, but they are not necessarily caring about your organization, right? They will do whatever it is that they that they feel that they should do to make you feel like they're supportive of you, but they're not necessarily really entrenched in, in your organization. So as far as what you should look for, okay, are people who may be colleagues or people who may work with different organizations that have something to do with the work that you're doing and who work hard, who are well connected, who have money or who know people who have money. And we may be sounding superficial here. I'm not, the reality of it is, is that the people on your board are going to be charged with not only governing what you do, but they also are gonna be your helping hand as it pertains to the financial sustainability of your organization. And so don't feel bad about that. Don't feel like you're asking them to do something you shouldn't. This is what a board is supposed to do. So relationships are everything. And don't be afraid to say what it is that you expect for your organization and be upfront with it I've got to say, when I first started my organization, I wasn't upfront with what I needed in a board member because I didn't know what that was. I was just happy that anybody was happy to be involved with my organization. I didn't know that there were certain expectations I should have of them and that you should be clear about those expectations because it's not fair that you have expectations of them that they don't know about. So know that your board is supposed to help you not only govern your nonprofit, but help to bring in money for it. And it's okay for that. So make sure that the people you engage are actually able to provide that so that they don't feel like they're inadequate and that you don't feel like you're asking them to do something that they shouldn't be doing.